Namaskar, everyone. Welcome to Sunday. Today, I've decided to talk about how we can take charge of our karmic play, of our karmic play. Let's go back to the basic meaning of karma. It is a law of cause and effect. It says that every cause will give rise to an effect. And every effect has a cause. If you know science, it is one of Newton's law. To every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. It is sometimes called a law of divine compensation. And even the Bible quote is, as you saw, so shall you read. And there is a saying, as you make your bed, so shall you lie. <laughs> karma. Now, we are placed in a divine play of karma. Divine because it's orchestrated by the universe. It means that everything we do, every thought, every action, every emotion is going to have a consequence. How conscious are you of that? How conscious are you of every morsel of food that you eat is going to have an effect on you? Positive or negative? How conscious are you that when you create a thought, it's going to have an effect on every part of the body and being. How conscious are you that when you are thinking negative thoughts, there's going to be a consequence? If you're thinking positive thoughts, another consequence. If you're generating negative emotions, a certain consequence. If you're generating positive emotions, a certain consequence. How conscious are you? How conscious are you that every action that you take in a relationship is going to have a a consequence. When you meet your world negatively, it's going to have a consequence because your universe is a responsive universe. It's an intelligent universe, right down to the creature, little creatures. If you play with an ant, you're going to get bitten. Oh, wasp. So you need to be very careful of your actions. If you don't take care of your gut biome, those little microscopic beings, entities in your gut, bacteria and the rest, you're going to have a consequence. The blood is not going to be as pure as it should be, unhealthy. Everything you do, everything you do, as a consequence. And because of the intelligence of your universe, your universe is going to respond to you in the like. So how conscious are you of what every action, every thought, every emotion is affecting your being and your world, creating consequences? How conscious are you? How conscious are you that when you speak something to another, it's going to have a consequence? It may remain with them for a lifetime. Or it may lift them, or it may depress them, or it may take their energies away, it may lower their self-esteem. How conscious are you that it's going to have an effect on another? So you are constantly impacting your world in every moment. How conscious are you? And your world is responding to you. What does it mean that you are in a dynamic play of action and consequence? In a dynamic play. If you go to sleep with a full stomach, you know what's going to happen. 
you might be happy because you will be snoring, but your body may not be happy because the stomach is going to have to do so much work while your soul is snoring. <laughs> Through the body, of course. How conscious are you that everything you do in this universe has a consequence? By the same token, if you take charge of your play, being conscious of every action having a consequence, if you take charge of your play, you can change the dynamics. But I want to go back a little bit to say that the condition of your body, which is extremely important because we need this body and the journey, the condition of your body is purely your own doing. You have brought the body into this condition. However it is, through that very same law of karma, all the actions that you performed brought the body into this condition. All the thoughts that you've thought of, the emotions that you generated, all the actions at every level, this is what is the result. The Buddha said that you are the product of everything that you have thought of. So yesterday's actions and the actions of the past are resulting in this, how you are now. And if you want to change that, if you're not happy with how you are now at every level, mentally, emotionally, intellectually, socially, physically, if you're not happy, then you can do something about it. You can do something about it. You can change it. <laughs> Growing old has been a cause for me to take rapid action on how I treated my body. Body growing old. When I began to be affected by age, first happened just after 60, and just after 65, I began to feel the impact of the aging body because I couldn't do what I did before in my, in my 50s, my 40s, my 30s. But I, I'm taking action. But when I started to read all these books about health, and I started to, oh, but there's, there's so many ideas. I, have, I had to be careful who you follow. So I let my body be the laboratory. I tested all these ideas on my own body. And I'm changing it at every level because I am responsible for the well-being of this body. And I take full responsibility. But the most important thing is that there is so much knowledge in the universe at the moment. Diverse, of course. You have to pick what works for you. And every body's body is individualized. So you can't take what works for everybody to also work for you. Ayurveda says that in the body types. But taking responsibility for my body has been so liberating because I don't have to think, well, if my parents did a whole lot of bad things that didn't keep their bodies well, that the genetic modification is going to affect me. No, I can change that. There's a science of epigenetics which says that there are DNA switches that can influence the way the genes express. So how do I influence these switches, these DNA switches? That's the science of epigenetics. So it's through my thought, through my actions, and through taking charge of that. And the same thing goes with the emotions you generate. They affect the body as well. I take responsibility for generating loving thoughts, loving emotions on a continuous basis, never allowing myself to be carried away by negative thoughts, emotional aggression, or mentally being scattered in thinking. I take full responsibility, and I'm, I stay fully aware of the impact 
it has on my aging body. That has been not only liberating, but empowering. Because I'm reclaiming my energies. I'm reclaiming my emotions. I'm reclaiming my thoughts. I'm not going to allow myself to be carried away. The law of karma says, if you plead ignorance, oh, well, but I don't know. That's not going to save you from the consequences. Educate yourself, learn more, take charge, and transform everything in your life. The mind, the emotional being, the intellectual being, the vital being, and the physical being. You can change everything at will. That's the power we have in the human experience. Do you want life to happen, or do you want to make it happen? What do you want to do? We have the power to hold the reins of the horses of the senses. We have the power to ensure that the charioteer, the one who guides the horses, are fully aware. We need to make sure that the spirit is conscious enough to see, to perceive multidimensionality. We have the power. We have the power to take full charge of this play, this karmic play. Are you going to do it? Are you going to let the world carry you away with its actions? So we are in an individual karmic play, which we need to take charge of, and then we are into a collective karmic play, that of the, the world, <laughs> which we may not be able to influence the way we may want to, but we have the power over our individual karmic play. That for me gives hope. That for me gives hope that I can take charge of the aging process, that I can take charge of my spiritual journey, that I can take charge of my mind, that I can take charge of my emotion, that I can take charge of my vitality, that I can stay vital in the human experience. The glory will be to take this through the life every day and in every moment, no matter what happens in this space, that I, the soul, in its full consciousness, take responsibility for my journey. Take responsibility for your karmic journey. Don't let things happen, make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> That's my Sunday message to you. I hope it has meaning. I get passionate when I think about the power we have in the karmic play. I become passionate. And that's a way that I can enjoy the human experience fully. Doesn't matter what happens. My inner world is always full of light. Always full of light. Stay connected to spirit. Namaskar, everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday. Namaskar.